Hoping to get some relief from the heat, people headed to the water. And again today, that proved tragic when a man's body was pulled from Scituate Harbor. As WBZ's Ken McLeod reports, the victim was a landscaper who jumped into the water to cool off. Locals say summer swimmers have been jumping from the Edward Foster Bridge here in Scituate Harbor for as long as they can remember. They're not supposed to, but as long as the tide is high, the relatively short jump has proven safe until today. Tonight, fishermen serenely cast their lines near the bridge, just a stone's throw from where there was panic and anguish hours earlier. It's like a rip current, so it goes in a circle and it, it can just pull you under in seconds. Nevaeh Dwyer was on the bridge this afternoon where youngsters were doing what they often do on hot summer days, jumping into the cool water below. I mean, I would, wouldn't consider it dangerous. I, this, like, I mean, young kids jump off that bridge all the time. But things took a tragic turn just before 2.30 when a pair of landscaping trucks pulled up and the three fellas on board decided to swim despite one's reservations. He was like, I don't know if I can beat the current, and he didn't. Indeed, when the incoming tide began pulling one of the men away from his comrades, he began screaming for help. His two friends went to try to keep him above water, and then he just, yeah. Nevea made one of several 911 calls, and rescuers swarmed to the scene, including the Situate Fire Department's dive team, which just happened to be practicing on the other side of the harbor. But the quick response didn't make a difference. His body was recovered about 90 minutes later. It's an awful start to the summer, and I think it's just going to go on from here. That was the bleak assessment from the town manager tonight, noting the flurry of drownings in recent weeks. He says police are constantly shooing teen swimmers away from the bridge, but they come right back. Tidal current is certainly an issue, he says, but so is water temperature. The water is very cold this time of year. You get hot, you jump in, that cold water hits you, you're going to cramp up. You're going to have problems swimming. It saps your strength in a hurry. For those who saw it unfold, the bridge will never again be the same fun spot it once seemed to be. I just feel really bad that I couldn't have done more. Town officials are pledging to repost their no swimming signs here, but they worry teens may simply find a more dangerous place to jump. In Situate tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.